Hello guys and welcome to the second devlog of the Idol Village game. The first video I posted about this game got an amazing response from the community, both in the amount of views in the video and also a bunch of people joining the Discord server, so I wanted to thank all of you guys for the support. Leaving a comment, a like or subscribing to the channel helps me out more than you can imagine, so if you enjoy the content, please leave a comment below letting me know. This past week I was busy integrating the core IO systems into the game, so it's a bit more than an animation and actually has some gameplay to it. Since we've been making idle games for over 4 years in Bigfoot, we have an internal idle core that we use in all of our games, which is what I'm using here. As a quick overview, this idle core has 4 parts. The first one is a sheet hosted in Google Docs, where all of the balancing of the game is created and tweaked. Here we can find the different generators in the game, how much they actually generate, the cost to upgrade, the tasks in the game, and so much more. We will be seeing this sheet a lot in the future of this step log. Then we have an admin tool to parse all of the information in the Google Sheet and format it in a way that the game can understand and then upload it to a Firebase server. The Firebase application holds all of the balancing of the game and also all of the player's information. Everything is hosted in the cloud. And the last part that ties all of this together is a Unity package that we can integrate into our Unity game and use all of these features. Once I integrated all of these moving parts, it was time to start working on the game itself. The first thing I wanted to do was that every time that the fisherman got some fish, it would actually get added as a resource. I also added some simple UI for this in the form of a circular progress bar, and once it's ready to collect, you can just tap on it. I also added the ability to see the stats of your generators and upgrade them using a currency, increasing the amount of a given resource they produce. I just want to point out that all of the UI work that you are seeing on the screen right now is a placeholder, just to make sure that I can know everything's working and it will be replaced really soon. With these basic mechanics in place, I started thinking of how the initial pacing of the game will go and added a simple task system to the game. The idea is that you will have different types of tasks to complete to help you guide you through the game. For now, I only implemented two types of tasks. One is to collect X amount of a given resource and another one is to upgrade X amount of times a given generator. As I mentioned before, all of this is in the balance sheet, so adding new tasks or switching what I have is super quick to do. With these basic systems working, I added some localization support for all of the tasks in the game. Having some kind of localization has two huge advantages. First of all, if I want to translate the game to multiple languages, I just trigger one line of code to switch the language and it just works, provided I put all of the translations in the sheet, of course. And second, and most important, it's a really quick way to iterate on names and wordings without having to go and touch the code base that you've developed. With all of this in place, I decided to call it a week. Before committing everything and relaxing a bit on the weekend, I decided to do some small refactoring, code cleaning, and commenting to keep the code base in good shape for further development. In the upcoming weeks, I'm going to keep building on top of these really simple systems, adding the ability to unlock more generators as you advance in the game, and I want to start playing around with some different mechanics where you can assign villagers with certain skills and place them in different crafts throughout the game. I hope you guys enjoyed the direction the game is taking, and if you're interested in staying up to date, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also join us in the Discord server. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thank you very much again for joining me, and I'll see you guys in the next video.